Movies, TV, sports, flicks. Movies, TV, sports, flicks. Movies, TV, sports, flicks. The Captain Captain Hawk Flicks. Movies, TV, sports, flicks. Movies, TV, sports, flicks. Movies, TV, sports, flicks. The Captain Captain Hawk Flicks. Welcome to the Captain Talk Slicks Podcast. I'm your host, the Captain Cortez, aka Mr. Love, and this is where we talk flicks. I walk in the podcast, podcast where me, the Captain, talks about movies, TV, sports, flicks. Anything you've seen on the tube or screen, I'd like to get in here and give my unique perspective. Because after 46 years of being on planet Earth, I've developed a unique perspective about this movies, TV, sports, and flicks. Let's get a type about it. Because just maybe, just maybe you care. In accord to the stats, looks like you do care. I want to give a big shout out to India. Got some plays over India this past week. Gracias, gratitude. In India, lately I've been watching some news programming from over there. Yeah, watch some news programming. It's very interesting take on the news. Been watching this lady talk news from India. Also, I saw that India lamb curry. Oh my gosh, it looks so good. I might have to make me some Indian lamb curry. I'll be honest, going to India sounds very cool. I'm not going hanging out in India, chilling, relaxing, maxing, vibing, meditation, all that. So anyways, thanks for listening, appreciate it, God says gratitude. And just FYI, back day when school to be a radio DJ, but I never got a job. I think I never got a job because... I just didn't have the vision. I didn't have the vision for it. I didn't see it, so it didn't allow me to walk the path of becoming a radio DJ. But that allowed me to become the greatest podcaster in the Matrix. Some to debate. It might be true. It might not be true. But I said it on the internet. So it's got to be true, right? Because everything on the internet is facts. Not facts, true, false, fake news, propaganda, The Matrix, Star Trek, Star Wars, Tron, Deadly Discs, Dungeons and Dragons, X-Men, Harry Potter. (laughs) I don't know. I didn't make the internet. Ask the people that made the internet. Just when you're online, just watch out. Just beware. Anyways, I can ramble here all day, but I won't. Let's get right into the podcast. But first, a word from our sponsor. Ladies and gentlemen, if you've been listening to these podcasts, for a while, you know that sometimes I rap. And guess what? On July 22nd, 2022, I rapped again. I dropped the album called Dinosaur in the Future by yours truly, Sun Tzu Cosmic. Yeah, sometimes I go by the name Sun Tzu Cosmic. I got a million names. But I dropped the album called Dinosaur in the Future. Because you know what? Some people think I'm a dinosaur because I'm old. And guess what? Now I'm in the future. You know, back in the days, it was in the 90s and the 80s. And now it's 2022, I am now in the future. It's really crazy to think that. I think that just not too long ago, I was in the 90s and 80s. And now fast forward to now, I'm in 2022. I am a dinosaur in the future. Anyways, I dropped an album called Dinosaur in the Future with my unique rhyme style and also some cool, unique beats. So if you want to hear Dinosaur in the Future, I'll put a link below. Check it out. Stream it. Download it. Share it. So check out the album. And now, let's get on the podcast. Ladies and gentlemen, I am back once again. And let me tell you something, ladies and gentlemen. It's still hot. I told you last episode is hot. Well, guess what? It has not changed. It is still hot. This globe may be warming. It's possible. I'm not trying to get political. I'm not trying to get environmental. But I'm just saying it's hot. It may be warming up. I don't even know. I'm not a scientist. I'm not an ecologist. I'm not a chemist. I'm not any kind of allergist. I'm just saying it's hot out. Anyways, here I am again. Talking about movies, TV, sports, and flicks. And just to give you a status update, I'm still no fapping, no fap, no porn, no sex, none of that. And also, I don't know if I told you this as well, no fast food, no junk, just clean diet. No sex, no good, no junk, clean diet. And let me tell you something as well. It's kind of hard sometimes. Sometimes it's hard. Sometimes you just want that comfort food. Sometimes you just want a bone, son. You just want a bone and comfort food. Sometimes you want that. But this is the path we walk. This is the path to excellence. So maybe you want to join me. Maybe you don't. Maybe you say, screw it, bro. I want to have sex. Screw it, bro. I want junk. Maybe you do. When it's cool, when it's fine. Do you. Do what makes you happy. But right now, the captain is walking the path of cleanliness. Clean and discipline. We'll see how long it can last. It probably can't last forever. We'll see how it goes. 
Anyways, that's what's going down. But enough about all that. Let me get into the juicy bits of the podcast. And guess what? And it was just revealed at Comic-Con. The teaser trailer for Starship Picard Season 3. And we got to see some people we ain't seen for a while. Yeah, we saw Picard. Mm -hmm. We saw Rafi, okay. We saw Seven and Ass, fine. But you know who else we saw in the the teaser trailer? We got to see Worf, Son of Moog. We got to see Worf, Son of Moog. We got to see Beverly Kadesha. Just a glimpse, just, just a small glimpse. I heard a quote as well. I cannot wait for season three of Star Trek Picard. And before we get further in the podcast, I gotta let you know, I do own some shares in the parent company of Star Trek. I gotta let you know. I love it so much, I had to get some shares. I get some ownership. So I'm gonna let you know. It's, I think it's the best, I think it's the right thing to do. So I'm letting you know that. So it's now back to the podcast. So yes, we saw Morph Cinema, Beverly Karasha, William T. Riker, Deanna Troy, right? Yeah, yeah, it was awesome. I cannot wait to see the show. But that wasn't all. That wasn't all the news. That wasn't it. There was more news. And guess what else is happening in the universe of Star Trek? We are going to get a crossover, baby. Yeah, it's happening. We getting a crossover. Like, whoa, I've been waiting on a crossover for a minute. Now, I know we had crossovers in the past, but I'm waiting for a current crossover. A crossover is happening soon. You're like, Captain, what is crossing over? What kind of crossover are we getting? We are getting the crossover of Lower Decks in Star Trek Strange New Worlds. Now, I have no idea how they're going to do it. One's a cartoon, one's live action. I can't even imagine how it's going to happen or what's going to happen. But somehow, someway, there is going to be a crossover. I should be very interesting to see how this works. I don't even know where they're going to go with this. I can't even begin to even to, to guess. It should be very interesting to see what those creative minds at Star Trek Strange New Worlds come up with. Yeah, it just, so, I'm so excited about it. I love Lower Decks. I love Strange New Worlds. Put them together. What are you going to get? I don't even know. It's going to be great. It's going to be awesome. It could be the greatest crossover of all time. I know I say it all the time, but it very well could be. I'm excited about that. So that's happening. So big Trek news. Big things are happening for Trek. Trek just keeps going and going and going and going and going. And also we got the trailer to season three. Dress of uh, Lower Decks. Yeah, it's happening. Trek is moving full speed. I told you I'm all in on Trek. And also every Star Trek series show is available over at the Paramount Plus app. I know it's a plus. Sounds like a plug. It kind of is, sort of. Because I'm all in on Star Trek, baby. Wherever Star Trek goes, I'm going to be there. And I said this years ago. I said this when all the streaming things were first starting to happen. You know, Netflix was dominating. But a few years back when I was doing this podcast, I saw the writing on the wall. And all these streaming services were popping up. And what I said was going to happen back then. I said what they're going to do is they're going to take the properties they own. And they're going to pull them into their app. And they're only going to be here. Right? So if you had this property, it's going to be over here. If you had this property, it's going to be over here. I called it. And I knew it. And I said back then, I said, wherever Star Trek goes, whatever app it's at, whatever it's at, I'm going to be there. Fast forward to the future now. Here we are. And where is it all at? All the Treks at Paramount Plus. So guess what? That's where I'm at, bro. That's where I'm at. I go where Trek's at, straight up. Wherever Trek goes, that's where I go. I said that many years ago. And I'm, st- I'm, I'm, I'm still living that. It's just what's happening. So where the Trek goes, I follow. So now all the Trek is over at Paramount Plus. Right? So that's where I'm at. Because I go where the Trek goes. So anyways, big Trek news. Trek is happening. If you have not seen Trek, go watch it. Check it out. It's so dope. It'll make you think. You have fun. It's enjoyable. There's action. Great. It's just so great. So check that out. So yeah, that's dope. That's, that's what's happening. Also in the last couple of weeks, in my downtime, I found myself watching a lot of videos of ladies giving massages. And let me tell you something as well. They were very relaxing, but the way these ladies were talking in the videos is not like any language or talking I've experienced in real life. These have a certain way of communicating, which I have not personally experienced in real life or on the internet. When they give the massage, the way they talk, it was very, very relaxing, very interesting communication. It was a very unique, interesting experience. 
I can imagine having a massage in real life would be even way cooler. But just to watch it on YouTube, seeing the massages, how they and how they talk and how they move, it was very relaxing. In fact, it was so relaxing, I fell asleep watching it. <laughs> so I, I've been working really hard the last uh, couple weeks. They don't get they got podcasts, got albums, they got other things going on. They're just regular duties of being a human being. Staying really, really busy. So I wanted to relax a little bit, chill, and wind down. I looked through YouTube and I was like, hey, look at these massage videos. Let's check these out. And then I watched man, a whole bunch of them. And it, 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 for some weird, strange reason, watching these massage videos was very relaxed. Like I said, I fell asleep watching them. It's the music, it's the vibe, it's the talk. It's this, the, it's just, it's so relaxing. Uh, maybe I should get a real massage. <laughs> Maybe I should stop watching YouTube and get a real massage. But until I get a real massage, I will watch these massage videos to relax. Because seriously, I just, I, I passed out. I fell asleep. It's so cool. It's kind of similar how those ASMR videos are for me. I can watch some ASMR videos and I'll fall right asleep. Same thing. Watching these massage videos, passed right out. So I will watch them again. So if you've not seen massage videos on YouTube, check them out, man. If you just want to relax. You want to rest your body, relax, heal up. Watch these videos; they will help you relax, guarantee. They said maybe, maybe they won't, but they did me. So, anyways, it's been a very interesting couple weeks. Great Trek news. Relax, Michelle's videos in the year 2022. There are so many options of what to watch on the tube. Even if you have limited finance, right? There's so much free stuff. There's so many things. There's just so much. There's so much. So like I say all the time on these podcasts, choose wisely what you put in your eyes and your balls. It's very important. So yeah, so do that. I carefully curate mine all the time. So I'm very aware of what I'm putting in my eyeballs. So right now in 2022, Star Trek is good for me. And Star Trek has been good for me for the last 20, 30 years. And I don't think that's changing. Star Trek is probably going to be constant till I pass away. Let's be real. I have a strong feeling. I, I can't even imagine at some point in the future I'm just not like Star Trek anymore. Star Trek has been with me forever. And right now, massage videos are good for me. That may change. Who knows? I don't even know. I don't even know how this works. I'm just living life, figuring things out. So anyways, thanks for joining me. appreciate you listening, trying to make this fun, entertaining, educational, whatever. Appreciate you listening. Thanks for stopping by. So until next time, we'll see. Progress is impossible without change. And those who cannot change their minds cannot change anything. George Bernard Shaw. Until next time, it's Captain Peace. The Captain, the Captain Talks, Talks Flicks. Flicks. Flicks.